Y'all did all right. All right, guys, we are gonna do something today that I am hoping is gonna be amazing. I've actually never done it myself, but I watched a lot of videos of people doing it and it looked amazing. So we are gonna do something that everyone loves. We are gonna do homemade pizza in the Dutch oven out here in the beautiful mountains of Northern Utah. Like I said, I've never done this before, but it looked really easy. The recipe isn't too in depth. You can really add what you want depending on what kind of pizza you want. So we're gonna try it out and uh, hopefully it turns out. We've ran into a problem. I know it's scary, but I can't remember how to open these. Oh, here, pill and direction. And then it pops though, it's scary. It's almost better just like get it over with and like. But that, oh, it's not gonna work, so. Well, there you go, that's our pizza. We failed, guys. Got it. I'll know next time, guys. You know, you live, you learn. Something I also don't know how to do is make pizza dough. It's like layered. This is, I just bought this like great value pizza crust. You can do, I've seen people do it with like already baked stuff you can buy at the store. Um, I thought this would be a little more professional, but it might be a bigger pain in the butt, but we'll see how it works. You gotta stretch it, stretch the dough. I know some of you guys are at home are telling me that like the last pizza video we did, you guys told us that we were not kneading the dough correctly. So somebody sent us a video of the correct way to knead dough because this is not how you do it. But that's what's fun about cooking is you learn as you do it. Learn as you go. All right guys, I got the dough close. So what I discovered is one of those is not enough. So we're using a 12 inch Dutch oven and you want that pizza dough to sit somewhat in the bottom and cover up most of the bottom, which it's close, okay? If I rolled it out a little better, it'd probably work, but we're in a hurry because we're getting rid of all the light we have, so. I'm just gonna work it out. Make sure you spray your Dutch oven before. Um, if you're, especially if your Dutch oven isn't uh, coated very well, isn't seasoned very well, that's what I was looking for, it will stick. So I've got quite a bit of olive oil in the bottom, or you can just put some uh, tin foil in the bottom, which I forgot to buy, but you know, use some oil. All right, so it's close to fitting all the way in the bottom, as you can see. Um, hopefully this dough turns out. All right, so we've got the dough ready in the bottom. Now we're just gonna use some pre-made pizza squeeze sauce. Once again, guys, this isn't homemade, but we're out here camping and uh, it's just easier sometimes to buy the pre-made stuff, but it tastes decent. So you just wanna cover it up In the bottom, you just want to spread that evenly around your dough. Use however much you think you're going to want on your pizza. I kind of like a saucier pizza. I used about half of that bottle. All right, so the next thing a pizza is, you know requires is cheese, obviously. We got some cheddar here. We're going to go half and half. I don't know if it's possible to use too much cheese on a pizza, but it's per personal preference. And then we're gonna go half mozzarella. The condiments I bought to get put on the top of the pizza, I was gonna do Hawaiian, but I forgot to buy pineapple. So we got some Canadian bacon. We're gonna do something a little different. I've never had pizza with Canadian bacon and pepperoni, but we're gonna do it because why not, you know? We'll just cover the missing parts with pepperoni. Whoever gets this piece will be more of a pepperoni piece and then a ham piece, but you know. And then we're just gonna to top it with just a little bit more cheese, because why not?
All right, guys, and that's gonna be our pizza. How should it look? Should look tasty? Hopefully it works out. I'm worried about the dough. So all I'm gonna do, um, for simplicity reasons, you know, I really like using a uh, charcoal when I'm Dutch ovening, but another thing you can do is uh, just put it on the stove. We've got the Camp Chef two burner. We're gonna throw it on there, and then we're gonna, we got like eight briquettes going. So we'll turn it on super low on the bottom and put about eight briquettes on top, and it should only take about 15, 20 minutes. So we got the low temperature on the bottom, and we got eight briquettes on top. That should get us somewhere close to 275, 300. I think that's the biggest secret of being good with a Dutch oven, is having the right Dutch oven. We use Camp Chef, obviously. Um, they make a lot of, there's a lot of crappy ones out there you can get in a break, and they're not very, uh, temperatures don't, um, not very even, but the Camp Chef makes a good one. And it's also, Re learning to regulate your heat like knowing how hot your Dutch oven is and it takes time and practice um, I'm not very good at it, but I've done it enough that I know this should cook that pizza in probably 20 minutes We'll see It is time is counting down All right guys, it's been actually about 25 minutes a little longer than I expected, but uh We're starting to smell it a little bit. So let's see how she looks here. Oh baby I think that dough did all right. It looks like a pretty amazing pizza. Let's try to get this thing out with a spatula. Oh, perfect. Oh. Sorry about the light, but uh, we were hunting, so let's cut into this thing. Once again, no pizza cutter, just a Rocky Mountain Elk knife. Rocky Mountain Elk Foundation knife, I should say. Dang. That's like better than like brick oven style pizza there. This thing's gonna be screeching hot, but let's just look at this thing. Make one more cut here. Look at that. <laughs> Guys, like we always say, just because you're out in the middle of nowhere doesn't mean you have to eat like crap. Try this. It's not the fanciest recipe in the world, but I'll guarantee you everyone at camp, after a long day hiking, hunting, fishing, whatever, is gonna enjoy a nice big thick piece of pizza, especially if you have kids. Try it out and let us know how it goes. Get you a camp chef, eat like a king when you're out here. Dang. This big camera's rolling. You have to hit it, huh? No, no. Is that how you open these? You hit them? <laughs> All right, guys. We have ran into a problem. I know it's scary, but I can't remember how to open these. Oh, here, pill in direction. And then it pops, though. It's scary. It's almost better just, like, get it over with and, like... But that's not, not going to work, so... <laughs> 